In this video, let's see how to calculate the area of triangle using determinants. We already know what is the formula of area of triangle and we know various types of triangles like obtuse angle triangle, acute angle triangle and so on. When we talk about area of triangle with the help of coordinate geometry, we see that area of the triangle can be computed with the help of its vertices with the formula that we studied in our junior classes. But actually how has that formula come out? The formula which we have been usually studying for area of triangle with vertices x1, y1, x2, y2 and x3, y3 is what? It is half into x1, y2 minus y3 plus x2, y3 minus y1 plus x3, y1 minus y2. This is what we have been already studying. Now we know that if this formula that we have been already studying is named as the formula for area of triangle, how has this formula come? This we are going to study in this topic of area of triangle. And you must be surprised that the formula actually is coming from this determinant form only. Since in junior classes you had not studied about the concept of determinants, so this determinant form was not shown to you. But actually the formula has come with that only and we are going to derive that formula today. Right? Now, if in the determinant form you see I have written, we have a triangle and that triangle is having suppose three vertices. The triangle has vertices A, B, C. It can be any triangle. P, Q, R can be there. X, Y, Z can be there. Right? Three vertices are there and the vertices are in the form of ordered pair. Right? So it is x1, y1 as the first vertex, x2, y2 as the second vertex, x3, y3 as the third vertex. Now when these vertices are known to us, what I am concerned about, I am concerned about finding the area of this triangle. One method to find the area of triangle is that you know the coordinates, you just put the coordinates in this formula of area of triangle that you have been studying so far. Otherwise, if you do not remember the formula, just remember this determinant form and then evaluate. That is what we are going to learn. So determinant you have to remember at least. It is x1, y1, 1, x2, y2, 1, x3, y3, 1. This 1, 1, 1 is written in the determinant only. x1, y1 is the first coordinate. x2, y2 is the second coordinate. x3, y3 is the third coordinate in order. You do not have to write A first, then C, then B. It has to be ABC order only. One thing is for sure. Right? Now let's evaluate and expand this determinant to derive the formula. I'm just making a partition. You are evaluating say along the first column. You can evaluate along the first row also. Right? So I'm expanding along C1. C1 means the first column. Now I know del is written as half outside. Half is outside, you cannot ignore that half. C1 means the column 1. What is C1? It is comprising of this x1, x2, x3. Now decide on the sign already. First of all, I know x1 is first row, first column, 1, 1. 1 plus 1 makes it 2, which is even, so plus sign. x2 is second row, first column. So 2 plus 1 is 3, 3 is odd, so negative sign. And since it alternates, so plus minus, it should be plus. Now, follow the signs and just go about solving it. x1 firstly, inside what will happen is I have to calculate the subdeterminant. When you talk about x1, you have to ignore what? For x1, you need to ignore this column, which is the first column and the first row. So, you are left with what? y2, 1, y3, 1. Right? Again, I repeat. Ignore this column, which is the first column. Ignore the first row. You are left with what? y2, 1, y3, 1. Now you know how to evaluate this subdeterminant. y21, y31, I write it here. Evaluation is how it is done by the cross multiplication. Just cross multiply. What is it? It is y2 minus y3, right? So I write here y2 minus y3. Next is what? Next is minus x2. So you write here minus x2. And again, see what comes into picture. Let me erase this because we have understood this. Now, it is minus x2. x2 is which element? It is this element that you see here. I am putting in the help of a box. 
ignore what ignore this row which is the second row ignore what else ignore the first column you are left with what ignoring second row ignoring first column you have y11 y31 this is what you need to evaluate for x2 now again cross multiplying it cross multiplying gives me y1 minus y3 so just write it y1 minus y3 again you've understood this let's remove it last but not the least what do we have we have x3 now x3 is the last element in this third row now third row ignore first column ignore you are left with what you are left with y1 1 y2 1 again cross multiply it is y1 minus y2 so plus x3 y1 minus y2 now what else you can do is since everything is preceded by plus x1 has before it nothing sign means plus sign here also it is plus so better here also we make it plus right so take minus sign common and it becomes plus so it is basically del is equal to half x1 y2 minus y3 no issues with it take minus sign common 1 minus is already there so it becomes minus minus plus so it is plus x2 and the sign changes minus common means now y3 is becoming plus and plus thing is becoming minus so it is minus y1 plus x3 y1 minus y2 as it is now you see that we have a formula and compare that formula with the above what i have written that is what i was saying since these both are equal either you remember the formula as it is or what you can do is you can just simply evaluate a determinant and obtain a formula there is also a trick to remember the formula what is that trick it is a cyclic order that means firstly you write x1 and here you write y1 then y2 then y3 now what you do is after x1 since 1 has already come what is left in the counting 2 and 3 have not come so cyclic order means when 1 has come you go about 2 to 3 so it is y2 minus y3 so it is y2 minus y3 next since x1 came now it is the turn of x2 and since 2 is here what is not here 1 and 3 are not there we started with this order we finished at 3 now we are going about this way so it is y3 minus y1 so it is y3 minus y1 again i am repeating we are going to learn the formula or we are going to evaluate it only two options are there with us evaluation we have understood let's see the trick to learn this the trick to learn this is first you write x1 and since 1 has come what is left in the counting 2 and 3 have not come so you just follow this 2 to 3 so y2 minus y3 after that since 1 came in x1 now it is the turn of x2 so plus x2 2 has come as a subscript 3 and 1 have not come right you ended with this now you have to start with this again so y3 minus y1 x1 done x2 done turn of x3 so plus x3 now x3 is there that means 3 is in the subscript when 3 is in the subscript what is not there 1 and 2 are not there you finished at 1 so now you are going with this only you are starting with here y1 minus y2 you write y1 minus y2 so this video was dedicated to the formulation of area of triangle in the next video we are going to see some application of area of triangle